Hello, dear readers. Today I introduce you with another good writer <clears throat> from Lithuania, from this book. The history of Lithuanian writers in the United Kingdom. Romualdas Gedraitis Palis. Romualdas Gedraitis Palis was born in 1915s and died in 1980s. He was a writer of prose who lived in Great Britain. He studied Lithuanian language and literature in Kaunas and worked as a teacher uh, in the Rasai and Kaunas Gymnasium. From 1947, he lived in Halifax. Like many other migrants, he worked at first in textile factory. So later he taught mathematics in an English secondary school. Gedrai Tispalis was active in the Scout movement and groups of Lithuanian emigres. He edited the cultural magazine Devine Sheseli in the Shadow for the Homeland, which was published in Detmold, Germany in 1946-1947. He began publishing his short prose works in 1939 in Lithuania, in various journals including Academic, The Academic and Lietuvos Aidas, The Lithuanian Echo. <clears throat> but his real publishing debt happened in Great Britain, where his first collection of prose was published. Gedraitis published his books under the pseudonym Spalis. His second collection, Tardango Sergiades, Between Heaven and Earth, was not published until 1965, quite a while after his first book. This collection followed his first in content and in form. <coughs> his felitons, full of colorful characters, took an ironic and witty look at the Lithuanian society and its cultural activities in England. His writing talent, though, flourished in his novellas The Joseph of Gaylos, The Big Remorse, 1952, and Gale Irnodinus, Angels and Sins, 1963, and Rinktinas Novelas, Selected Novelas, 1981. In his novellas, he focused on the issues that the rural intelligentsia was faced with, revealing conflicts through clashes between goodness and evil. His colorful characters were not idealized. Most often, we portrayed them ironically, revealing their meanness and the fatalistic moments in people's life. Spalis dedicated four novels and three novellas to the task of drawing a portrait of the generations that grow up in independent Lithuania 1918-1938. Its fate and the turn their lives took. In his novels and novellas, Gat with Bernuko Nautiki, Adventure of Street Urchin, 1952, and Antri Boss, Once Age, 1954, Alma Mater, Alma Mater, 1960, Residencia, Resistance, 1969, Margaitesh Ghetto, The Ghetto Girl, 1975, Shirtis Granito, A Heart of Grand. 1980, Oxino Sauleli Jo The Seduction of the Golden Sunset, 1980, The Personal and the Historical Way Intertwined, The Authors Attempted to Depict Historical Events and Peripetia Through a Single Characters and Their Life. The first novel was especially popular and well read. It is a novel about childhood, the unfolding of a child's soul and its reaction to encountering meanness. All are dynamically plotted, 
The stories are full of unexpected twists and turns, while the personal and social aspects of life are intervening authentically. Thank you very much for your attention. And next time I will read uh, the novella The Dog.